Thank you. So, like, uh, what happened here? Looks like you ate a tree, huh? Is it tasty? I mean, it depends on what you call tasty. I mean, it has like a woods flavor to it. Yeah, a little woodsy, little woodsy flavor. It's a big old cedar, man. Oh, yeah. Huh? It smells nice here, though. We should probably show them what happened to it. Yeah, it's cutting kind of along, cutting along, and then this thing happened. All right, hey guys, in this episode, we're going to be installing the Armadillo Guard hydraulic coupler as well as the back bumper extender, which weighs a whopping 500 pounds. Yeah, and that's it right there. So uh, this thing um, comes with like these instructions on like uh, plastic paper or something. So I'm not really good at reading. Um, I only finished uh, kindergarten, right? Just like you, buddy, yeah? Uh -huh, so we're finished. gonna look at these pictures and um, yeah. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is loosen, I think we're gonna loosen these two bolts up right here. As well as this uh, one, I guess. And pop it out and pop this one out, and then we can put it on. All right, mister. First things first. Uh, what is that, 15? No, of course not. Why would it be a 15? Uh, let's see here. Is that one with the Kubota? All right, so uh, I tried the, uh, I tried to do the wrench to do the right thing with the wrench so kind of had enough of that so we're going to use this thing uh to pop these two bolts off this one yeah okay. all the way all the way okay and the other one and oh by the way this is 14 millimeter i don't know is this supposed to do that oh man this is going to be like a pain to get back huh you see that well, with enough persuasion, anything's possible. Dude, what the? I guess you have to get a crowbar in there. Look at that. That thing's all... No, I can just hold on to it. All right, so this one here actually is pretty, pretty easy to come off. We're going to take this one off with this. Let's see. Does it go up? How are you supposed to take this out? Hammer. Everything requires like 10 times the power, man. Uh, I, I got a hammer. Adjustable hammer. Ow! Look at that. All right. What on. did you do? Did you Nothing. Do? Nothing to see here, people. Move along. All right, so... All right, so what we're gonna do first is gonna we're gonna install this first. Um, so I don't know how. You know what? Hold on, buddy. All right, so we got this thing sitting on here. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we ended up loosening all these bolts. We we lifted up the arm and uh, got in behind and loosened all these bolts for this thing because this thing's crooked. For whatever reason, this thing's super tight. I don't know if these things aren't bent correctly or whatever. So the back, I got the back bolt on first. So I'm gonna work our way toward the front. That's what we're gonna do. So there's just no way. How is it looking? Is it looking? Probably like there that, we go. Huh? Oh yeah, hundred percent. All right. So this whole thing is just um, you gotta get the back one in first, and then work your way forward. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch uh, bolt. 
So that's done, that's done. I think I'm gonna tighten it so it stays a little better. I don't know if you're supposed to tighten it now. I think they said to keep it loose until the end. Yeah, they said to keep all bolts hand tightened until you have everything. Yeah, but the problem is there is no hand tightening. They're all, and, and then it, it wobbles on you. So, okay. So I think all there's left to do now is to line this up and stick these bolts in. Um, see, the problem is how do you get in here and do this? See the adjustable hammer? Well, that, is that going to fit in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Get the bottom one too. It's in. Okay. I put this thing flush with the side here so so that it, it'll slide down a little bit more. So that's it. Okay. Well, that's the armadillo guard for you. Yeah, okay, so we got that on. I'm still not a fan of this bolt that they gave us. Um, we do, I think this uh, stainless bolt is way nicer than this cheap galvanized bolt that they gave us here, but uh, whatever, this has a number seven on it, just like all the other bolts on all of Kubota that have a seven. Maybe we can find one of these longer and replace that. But look at the way that looks. See the way that looks? That doesn't look right, see? Um, but anyways, this cinches it down. Um, I'm still going to find a bolt like this, a stainless bolt uh, like this. And it replaces cheap galvanized bolt. I'm sure this is a good bolt, but it doesn't look like like, like a nice stainless bolt uh, like this. It looks galvanized, although I'm sure it's probably stainless. Who knows? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. All right, so while we were doing this, I noticed that there was a huge gap right here. And I was like, ah, that can't be right. And I looked to the picture, and then I was like, ah, I think it looks a bit, a lot more flush than it was before. And then I went to the website to double check, and then, of course. Yeah, so what we did, we just loosened everything back up and just tapped it down. So now I'm just going to go through and tighten all the bolts back up. And, of yeah. course, I went to the other side to check. And, of course, this front side was pivoted forward. So we made it, we pushed it down, and now it looks a lot better. There you go, man. You like that better? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Straight. We're done. Well, that's that. All right, so he's going to take it back up, and I got to tighten all these bolts back up that I loosened once this thing kinked over. Um, so. Okay, we're good. Take it back down. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is install this, uh, the rear bumper that goes on the back here. Uh, I've already hit it a few times. See, look at that, I hit a tree. Um, take a guess how many times I hit it, guys. Oh yeah, take a guess. None, pretty good. Just... Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna put that on next. Good job of trash in the yard, no, man. No, no, no. Oh, just like that. Yeah, and I think the bolts go through. Mm -hmm. And then you put one the... there, and um, and you put it. You do it at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So like this. All righty. We're ready when you're ready. You got both of them ready? Yeah. All right. That is perfect. I can just watch. Yeah, you can just watch, buddy. Oh, you got a hole over here. Right. Over a little bit. Okay. You hold it. Hey man, where's the other, uh... buddy? Yeah. The, I'm management. Don't talk to me. Yeah. Oh, the O-ring? Is there an O-ring that's missing? Hold on a second. I don't see one on the ground. Oh, here it is. Yep. Okay. Yes. See, you see, management doesn't do much. All I do is sit here and manage. <sighs> okay, got this. You got it? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, it. I'll do is tighten it now. Yeah. You know what? There's something missing. Oh, what's something it missing? should it should be already tightening really like oh, let's see no. well, you got one at the bottom oh, you should should be good but it goes awfully hard, hard you know yeah okay 
think it's just how it is, man. Give me a second. No. <laughs> wow. do, we need to, do we need to WD-40 that to the bolt? WD-40 it or? Yeah. So? I got him in a single W. Do you think WD-40? Yeah, that should do it. I mean, it's like there's, this should be going, you know, easier than that. Yeah, it's just way too difficult to, to tighten it. Why is it so difficult? Is it because it has, oh, it's pulling the weight. No, it, it has the, the bolt is, um. I know, it has one of those. Pulling the weight. Bolted. It has to pull all this up. Up. Okay. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Maybe carry a car yeah. and never turn in a L. Is that WD-40? Yeah, yeah. WD-40. Let's do this. Let me do this. Oh, dude. That's why I'm saying it's tight. I mean, it should not it should not do that. I mean, it's stuck already. <laughs> it's stuck already. <laughs> uh, Maybe the bottom will do it. 36. No, the, the bottom is even bigger. Is it really? No, it's the same. Yeah, it's bigger. It's big enough to where it doesn't it doesn't fit. Oh, no. Not even not even close. So does it doesn't fit on top, does it at all? No. No sir. So close yet so far away. Thirty seven. Yeah, thirty eight more. Okay, let's see what this is. Bam. Bam wham, that's it. You guys are the best, man. You can knock a tree with this thing. Just go backwards and you just knock it out. Thank you, gracias. De nada. Looks good, man. Quality. That's some quality part you got there, Junior. All right, guys, that's the end of that. We got the back bumper extender. It's installed. I mean, it's really easy if you have three people. You know <laughs> yeah, and we want to thank them. They're over here working on our house. They're, they're doing the stucco. Um, here's a shout out to them. If you guys are in the Little Rock area, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas area, and you need stucco and uh, what else they do? They do. Um, well, it says right there, stu stucco, waterproofing, flashing, stone, remodeling, and, and new. new. Yeah, they're over here doing the. We'll, we'll talk more about this later on, but uh, uh, we're having this completely redone uh, finally after we installed all the windows. We did a lot of work to it. How yeah, about how many windows did you install? <laughs> we did one today. We did one last time we came. So we did a whole bunch of them. But anyways, all right, guys. Uh, that's, that concludes this video uh, with the um, uh, the guard in the front and uh, the one in the back. Uh, man, this thing is so heavy. How much do you think that weighs, man? Yeah, this thing's like, like huh? It's a machine. That's incredibly it weighs more heavy. Than me. Yeah, and we ended up not having the right tools, like because like we're we're not we're not home and we don't have the right tools. Not that we have the right tools, anyways. But um, all right, buddy, dude, uh, it's looking good, man. Oh, yeah. uh, we got this thing on the level. So uh, what else is next? I don't know what else is next. We'll do the more upgrades later on. Uh, all right, guys. Def we... cap is next. Def cap is next. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Looks good, man. That's some quality part you got there, Junior.